Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, uh, we are picking up exactly straight on from last time. We have just unlocked the Mountain River and we are in our Caterpillar CT 680 uh, heavy truck, which we have <laughs> repurposed as a scout truck following the uh, steps of our Fleet Star. Now, that being said, uh, Mount River seems to be like a relatively small map, all things considered. We only have like three watchtowers here. So uh, let's just uh, slowly make our way through it. Uh, our goal in Alaska is still to find upgrades for our trucks. Other trucks are would be nice, but they are not a requirement. So what does this need? Greetings friend, it's Singing Axe. Sorry to disturb you, but the local bridge in your village has collapsed. We're trying to restore it, but we lack drivers so we can supply the materials. We could really use your help. Okay bro, we'll get right on it. I have no idea what you want from me. Oh, yeah. You need two service spare parts. Okay, you know what? We can uh, totally knock that one off really quickly and continue on to whatever we want to do. Let's not make the same mistakes we, we did when we entered Alaska, uh, which was uh, literally not unlocking a pipeline <laughs> and not unblocking literally half the map. So uh, let's do that now, knock it out super quickly. We do have uh, a sideboard trade, sideboard bed. Especially for these kinds of, uh, hey, random situations. I know it adds a bit of weight, which I may not have wanted. But uh, this truck has been uh, handling itself uh, really, really well. Now that uh, it's been mentioned, uh, we, we do have a few recurring characters per se over the maps. Well, not between maps per se, but on each map. And uh, it it's just seems like a whole missing opportunity. I've mentioned this before, but it'd be nice if the, the entire gameplay were more tied together with the story and maybe even characters and things like that. It Not fully comic, but it'd be just... Uh, interesting to have a bit more meaning to our hauling. Mm -hmm. Say what? Oh, you need a concrete slab first. Oh. Uh, mm. Hmm. That's a problem. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, let's... Let's just remove the cargo first. I mean, let's just dump it. I was really kind of hoping that... I don't know, maybe I just uh, misread it the first time. Okay, in that case, uh, let's... Uh, let's see if we can get that concrete slab on here really quickly. This seems to be like a good crossing over option and... Shouldn't be that, too, that far away. understand why you'd want some things in order but hmm, I think that should be the exception rather than the rule Eesh. whoa are we sleeping we are entirely sleeping because we were off of uh, all-wheel drive. That's a time trial which we don't care about. 
Mm, but we do care about whether it'd be better for us just to cross here. Well, actually, yeah, just get here and use this path. That sounds legit. how this will work that will work when we come back with a concrete slab on top of our truck but hopefully that will be relatively painless of course there's a quest here we'll just uh, accept this quickly hey i need help i had an accident near the river i was transporting a batch of bricks to the warehouse and they slid off into the water i need help finding and delivering them to their destination it's gonna be a bit wet, but I guess we can do that for you. Okay, give me some medium pipes. Okay, no, no thank you. No small pipes either. Uh, no cement. A concrete slab. That's exactly what we're looking for. Thank you. Oh, that's another time trial. Okay, let's just uh, back up into it. Talk about the warehouse that's out in the woods. There's literally nothing here, not even a path. Wow. You'd expect, like, for a warehouse, it had like a practicable service road, right? Easy there. Let's not bounce all over the place. And I'm glad they put they spawned those bricks right smack dab into my uh, path here, but all good. I was actually surprised speaking of um, picking up uh, random cargo in the wilds. How, um, how much the cr uh, loading crane weighed for sure it was not practical for me to use it you know just hold it on my truck for so long as I did I'm actually kind of thinking maybe it would be a cool idea uh, there is the um, the load star the scout which can carry a loading plane and i'm wondering if it'd be smart for me to get a truck without the um, uh with just you know like a trailer like, sorry not a trailer but a sideboard uh, bed or like a flatboard and then just winch a, a load star with uh, a crane on it that would be really cool uh that would give me the best uh, option for, uh, you know, having a good truck in front to carry what I need to carry. Uh, that would give me the best option for having a scout in the back to winch me to safety if I ever need it. As well as, uh, I'm not sure it can actually carry the service, uh, the service cab, but also carrying the winch. I don't think so. The crane. But uh, either way, I'm, it may be an option because like, if we're getting into some really high level stuff here and we're going to need some more help, having just a tiny little uh, scout car uh, to trail me would be really cool. And uh, I don't think we can shut up the engine, that's my problem. So uh, it may run out of fuel because it will be using fuel when we're winching it. Hmm. I think in Mudrunner you could turn off the engine of the winched car, of the winched truck, 
specifically for this reason, but that's not no longer an option here. Either way, let's get that bridge uh, solved. Ten minutes into uh, Mountain uh, Valley, and we're already doing more work than uh, they did up until this point, I guess. Okay, cargo management. Yeah, that, that's wood. That, that's not what we brought here. We, that's not concrete slabs, but okay. Uh, thank you for helping our tribe. If only there were more people like you. Okay, so is this uh, a village? Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I kind of thought this would be like one homogenous zone, or like, you know, truckers and oil rigs and stuff like that. But apparently they're trying to add in some uh, extra little context, which I was just mentioning earlier that it would be nice to have. This is, a, is this a fuel station? Oh, cool. This is a fuel station. So let's get us all of the fuel up. It's nice to know that we have one in... Uh, Mountain village, mountain river, mountain river. Uh, okay, we have a nice, cool, white path here that leads us straight, straight to the watchtower, so let's get that solved. Of course, it's much smaller once you're actually seeing it. That's what she said. Not overshoot this, shall we? There's still a difference between worn, ro worn roads and a tiny bit of sand. And those uh, lights are so bright. Watch door open. Let's uh. Oh, that was a pre shot. Okay, so we have an upgrade location. We unlocked the trailer store. Wow, this is such a full service uh, area, I swear. Uh, Smithville Dam could learn something from this. Okay, so we have two upgrades here. Wow, we have two trailer stores so tightly packed together. Wow, this is insane. We have a warehouse, another warehouse, and a sawmill. Yeesh, this is insane. Literally, this is so uh, fully featured. And given that these are so close to the other th uh, end of the map here, um, it, it would be really cool because uh, I don't have to worry all that much about uh, having um, an island lake situation, right? Or I need to actually put forward logistics. Jam my cab there a bit. <laughs> uh, actually, no. Let's let's uh, go by uh, that side. Should be a lot better. Okay, 
super solid. cab in there for a bit. Just the tip. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit. There we go. Stop. No. There we go. Uh, GB8V 2000T available for the current truck. Is this the top engine for this truck? A fine tuned version of the popular engine sporting excellent reliability and power that caused even lower fuel efficiency. Okay, so this is for the Caterpillar, CT680, the thing I have, the Royal BM17, the other off-road truck, uh, the Dairy Longhorn, which I think is a, uh, something that we'll find out here in the wild, and the Freightliner something something, which I think is a, is a highway truck, which we don't care about. Okay, that's that gotten. Let's... Uh, uh, should probably head out for this upgrade uh, but this is a pipeline so right we have another shattered pipeline here that's annoying hmm. this is a, a pass so we should probably be heading here as much as we can uh, but there's no actual easy way to pass so we have to head all the way back back through here maybe through the trailer store and whatever maybe we can squeeze through here so we save some time past the sawmill let's check out here and get all the xp we can from the two trailers that are there and Yeah, just squeeze ourselves through here. Oh, I guess we can just head out. But let's not make the same mistakes that we made last time, right? Let's check out and see if there's any options. Oh, we could have totally done this. It was so close. But we're probably doing, going to be doing it another time, not a problem. Uh, I was going to check if... There's any option, but I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know. It's fine. Um, let's still check the global map. There's no garage in Mountain Village, right? Okay, no, there isn't. Okay, let's uh, go with our original plan. Let's head out for the upgrades. And I think, the, again, the 25... 27... 27,000, yeah. 700, right? That's the proper term. 2,700. Uh, is the top engine for this. here and sidestep all of that. Something we can entirely do. Just look at this thing go. Oh, 
through this. And there we go. Should we? Yeah, let's uh, be on the safe side. Might as well look for here. That tree is being really annoying. There we go. Let's be on the safe side and let's grab ourselves a maintenance trailer and refuel and repair. Again, uh, this is the shortcut I want to take. It is Although this thing is rather steep. Would the shortcut be a long cut? I mean, if we flip over, it's gonna be really bad because we don't have any sort of trucks nearby. Yeah, no, you know what? Let's uh, just take the road. Let's not waste another half an hour getting another truck here to flip this back up. Not if we can avoid it with just a 40 second detour. Okay, and this is White Valley, which is the third area, but uh, we'll not bother with it yet, just yet. Let's finish getting all the upgrades from this, uh, from this zone. And again, I think there should be like a truck or two, either in this or the next area for sure. Let's not uh, make. Let's not have too much fun drifting around, shall we? Okay, any traders here? Not that I can see. So let's continue on. Also, by the way, we did level up, right? We're now level 13. I don't remember what, but we were unlocking something at level 13. But nothing important, probably just some uh, taller stacks. Okay, so uh, we said we are going to be checking this out and then heading back out and getting that upgrade on the side. Oh, did we... Did I... Oh, gods, I did not notice this. Uh, there was a path here. Frustrating. There was like a path through this, but because you know my map was exactly like this, I just thought it was a continuous stretch there. Oh well. is this what are you you beauty you know what this is this is going to be a headache oh my lord this is ridiculous wow okay let's burn that bridge when we get to it huh worrying about construction rigs, construction rig trailers in uh, Michigan, huh? Hopefully uh, the new upgrades we're getting here and the new trucks we're getting here will uh, help us handle the content in uh, Michigan a lot uh, better. 
Although I would prefer Alaska seems a lot more interesting than Michigan right now. Mm. Yeah, let's go the long way around. And I think the path that Watchtower does go through here. I have no idea. I was wondering why uh, I was going forward. Come on, really? and a differential lock. Let's just burst through this uh, section of wood. There we go. Gorgeous. And the moment I said it, I jinxed it. the turn. Actually, let's just check what this, uh, where this, does this take us? Uh, Pedro Bay, right, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I did com entirely, completely, fully miss a turn, but that's fine. I guess what is is the mountain village supposed to be the um, mountain river it's supposed to be the central point? Yeah, I guess it should be. Hmm. It's the one that ties to all of the four locations. Pedro Bay doesn't sound very Alaska, but well, what do I know? Well, oh, those brakes sounded very painful.
quest here. Um, trailers. I'm not seeing any trailers. Oh, I do see a huge trailer in front of me. Show task. Environmental issue. I'm Bob Fletcher, local environmentalist. I'm concerned about the construction of the new pipeline. Can you help me and my team get to it so we can perform a survey and make sure everything is above board? Well, I think I already have a guy inside that wanted me to take him somewhere in the last map, so I guess uh, you and your team can jam into the cab here with me. And uh, when we run out of space, we just run out of space. a little uh, tug to make sure that uh, I got the XP for it. And in the end it is free XP, it's like 30 XP for every trailer and you have like 3 or 4 trailers per map, that's 120 XP. I'm not sure how the progression is set up but I am kind of certain that uh, for you know most of the top level stuff you will not have too much leftover XP. Just uh, head up here. I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure why, because I think I already unlocked most of the area. But maybe the Watchtower will unlock some upgrades which I have not seen. observation to get the nice little view of this uh, valley here and the, that large smokestack and why is this in the middle of the what what, what even is this i think i've seen it in another map as well but i just don't know what that is anyways um so do we only have yeah we have this yet still Oh, there was... we literally missed an upgrade. It was behind the house. Okay, sure, let's head back for it. Talk about um, a hidden upgrade. And then we'll head back down, go through here, grab this other upgrade, which we apparently forgot yet again to get it. And... Yeah, either way, uh, let's get to it. you had like the environmentalists and something i mean it might be asking a bit too much of the game but it'd be cool like if you had like different types of contracts which are you know against one another so we could permanently change the map one way or the other which would also maybe i know change the uh, maybe not change the available trucks you have because the, the game does have an element of collectionism getting old trucks and all the upgrades and stuff like that but maybe I'm just changing the map itself, so if you side with like the environmentalists, you'd have like uh, less pipelines in your map, which may be something you would want for easier transport or something like that. That'd be nice. But either way, I'm just glad uh, that this is such an upgrade from the initial mud, sorry, spin tires concept. Uh, Westline V62350T. Oh, wow. This is the upgrade for the Fleet Star. Oh, my lord. Um, okay. You do know that if somehow the Fleet Star ends up being more powerful than uh, the top engine on, like, the Caterpillar, right? I'm in right now. I am totally sticking with the Fleet Star. <laughs> Smucky train again. Oh,
would have been a more smooth turn. I'm getting a bit sloppy in my uh, driving. Just because I didn't get tipped over yet. I didn't have any bad situations yet. I mean, Alaska isn't really that bad. I haven't hauled cargo across it yet, sure. Well, much cargo anyway. But uh, I just don't see much to be afraid of. Especially like since you have this central hub here, which has everything from trailers to repair. Only a garage, sure. So you kind of need to get your trucks and leave them here. So any upgrades that you will do to them will probably need to, you know, they have to be imported in here from uh, North, North Dock, North Pole, North Garage. The north uh, something uh, map. Uh, north port. There we go. So uh, let's head for that upgrade. Uh, is that straight through somehow? Yeah, I guess it is. But let's uh, do something like this. Because this looks uh, heavily forested. Okay, come on. This is the mm, Okay, that's annoying, but sure. Of course this is probably meant to be accessed by a smaller car, not a huge heavy truck, but oh well. Just need a little bit of fine. Let's, let's do a li large wide reverse. Let's head through here and then drop right in here. Perfect. Uh, high range. Yeah, this is the high range upgrade for more or less all of the trucks in the game. Uh, nothing we care about, to be fair. Oh, this is getting actually pretty uh, late in the episode, so let's start wrapping it up. Let's get back onto the main road. I think it's a pretty good stopping point. Um, we will probably refuel, uh, repair if it's needed, and then make our way getting uh, here, getting this upgrade, uh, getting this watchtower, and then heading over to either White Valley or Bedroom Bay. Probably White Valley, looking at the map. Hmm, maybe we should do Bedroom Bay though. Either way. Uh, that's gonna be in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this episode, please like, subscribe, share, all that good YouTube stuff. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.